and welcome back to my kitchen. It's Roger here once again, and today I'm going to be cooking one of my all-time favourite meals. For two reasons, it's a favourite. Firstly, I love it, it's so tasty. And secondly, it's using up a few bits and bobs, some leftover chicken from, from Sunday lunch, and leftover leeks that were just sitting in the bottom of the fridge. I call it chicken, leek and potato pie. Don't forget, please subscribe to my channel. Just hit that button down in the bottom corner and uh, ring the bell as well. I've got hundreds of recipes out there. I'm sure there's one that you're gonna like. So let's crack on. We're gonna need some chicken. This is cooked chicken, left over from our Sunday lunch and I've cut it up into small pieces. We're gonna need some potatoes that we're gonna make into a mash. We're gonna need some leek. I've got some lovely leeks here that have been chopped up. And also, we're gonna need some butter, quite a bit of butter. A bit of our old friends there, seasoning, some salt and pepper. And just for a bit of a twist, some Dijon mustard. And not forgetting a short crust pastry. Now this has been pre-made. I've got the uh, recipe for this down below and it's been in the fridge cooling. So in a pan, we go with some boiling water and pop in our leeks. We're gonna boil these down till they're sort of soft. Not overboiled, just sort of a bit al dente if you like. And we're gonna cook our potatoes down. We're gonna turn these into a lovely, delicious mash. So there they are, boiling away. Probably takes about 15 minutes. Then I'm gonna put them through a ricer. This is my favorite way of making mash. Make sure that you don't get any lumps in it, to be honest. So once that's done, we cut put in our butter. Now you didn't see that, did you? So much butter. One teaspoon of Dijon mustard for extra flavor. Then of course, our seasoning. Can't miss out on the seasoning, especially that lovely black pepper. Freshly cracked too. In that goes. Then we put our leeks in, followed by the chicken pieces. So in they go and followed by a really good mix. Now I'm gonna use a knife. I don't wanna mash it up too much. We want some a bit of texture in there. So using a knife and scraping around the edge, just, just get it all incorporated. And it's still hot, so the butter's melting down nicely and mixing in. Then we get our pie dish. Now this pie dish, I'm gonna coat the inside with some melted butter. It stops the pie, the crust, from sticking. So now we've got to prepare the pastry. Onto a floured board. Then I'm gonna roll this out to about, I don't know, eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, bit less than a quarter of an inch. Nice and thin. Be nice and gentle. And then it won't crack too much around the edges. And there we go. Flip it over, a bit more on the other side. And of course, job done. Put it over your pie dish. Then it's a little tricky bit. You've got to neatly push it down into the bottom without breaking it too much. And I'm going to use some baking beads to weight it down because what I'm going to do, and what I advise you guys to do too, is to just blind bake it for about 10 minutes just to give it a little head start like that. Bring it out, a bit crusty already. Take out the beads and then we can add our filling. In that goes, nice hefty spoonful, a bit more. Tuck it in nicely, press it down with a fork, and there you have it, ready for the lid. Little bit of butter around the sides. Now the butter around the sides, again, will help the top, the lid, to stick to the base. So what I'm gonna do is gently press it round, all the way round, followed by pushing it together with a fork. Not only does it join it all together, it looks good too. Looks professional. Couple of holes in the top just to let the steam out. Another coating of egg wash to make it nice and brown. And then it's ready for the oven. Now I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, but eyeball it guys. Make sure it's looking nice, brown and crispy like this is in the picture that you're seeing now. 
I'm serving this up with freshly stained greens and lashings, I mean lashings, of beautiful chicken gravy. You can't have a pie without chicken gravy, can you? Or you can have a gravy of your choice. Hope you've enjoyed this video and the recipe, of course. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make this recipe. Make one of my other recipes. Make any recipe. Don't forget, join me again next time. So it's bye from me and bye from my kitchen.